This demo will show you how to set up JFrog Artifactory and start using it in less than one minute. JFrog Artifactory is a universal artifact repository manager. It fully supports software packages created with any language or technology. It works with different build tools, CI servers, and packaging systems. After requesting an Artifactory license or as part of an upgrade notification, you will get an email from JFrog containing a link to a special bin tray page with Artifactory downloads. Let's start the Artifactory Pro standalone version download. This page is powered by JFrog Bintray, a modern feature-rich distribution platform. For example, you can use Bintray to get notifications when new versions of Artifactory are released. After the download is complete, we'll extract the downloaded file. Now, let's start up Artifactory. First, just run the artifactory.bat file or the artifactory.sh file that's under the bin directory. And go! There are more ways to install and run Artifactory, RPM, Debian, Mac Homebrew, Docker Container, and more. Now that Artifactory is up and running, let's quickly set up the required configuration for our use. Let's open our browser to the Artifactory homepage. When first launched, the Artifactory setup wizard will pop up. This wizard will easily walk us through the setup process. The first step is to provide a license key. Simply paste it here. This can be either a trial or your permanent license. We will skip the password change and keep the original one. We will also skip the proxy configuration which is used for advanced intranet configuration and can be revised later on if necessary. Now we can choose which types of repositories we'd like to set up. As a universal repository manager, Artifactory supports a great list of technologies out of the box. For our example, we will choose Python. And done! The setup wizard creates three Python repositories in Artifactory. A local repository called Python Local, where you can deploy and serve your own Python packages. A remote repository called Python Remote, which is a caching proxy for PyPy, the Python package index. Finally, a virtual repository called Python, which aggregates the other two repositories, allowing you to work with a single access point to all your acquired packages. You can, of course, modify these or create additional Python repositories later on, using the repository's administration pages. Now it's time to configure the Python command line client to work with Artifactory. For setting up your tools to work with Artifactory, the Set Me Up button is your best friend. The pop-up window gives you all the instructions and valuable configuration snippets. It is context sensitive and shows the relevant information based on the focus location in the tree browser. In order to configure PyPy to deploy artifacts to Artifactory, we need to add Artifactory as a repository in our .pypyrc file. Let's add our credentials in order for the setmeup to include them in the snippet. Let's copy the snippet and paste it in the file that's usually found in the user home directory. Notice the local ID that we give our Artifactory server as the index server's property. We'll use this ID in the next step. Now we'll run a simple setup script that uses the distutils upload command to deploy artifacts to Artifactory. After refreshing the repository, we can see the package in the tree browser. Note the PyPy info tab that appears when you focus on a PyPy package. It displays all the information about the package, including name, version, and summary. Next, let's see how resolution of packages works. We will resolve artifacts from the virtual PyPy repository. Let's select it and again use the handy Set Me Up button. Here we have another config file to populate called peep.conf if you're using Linux or Mac OS and peep.ini for Windows. Let's copy the snippet and paste it into the file. Now let's select a package to retrieve from the public package index. Slog seems like a good candidate. 
A simple pip install command downloads the package from the public index to Artifactory, from Artifactory to the local machine. Once the install is finished, we can go back to the Artifactory UI and see the new package cached in the PyPy Remote Repository cache. Lastly, we can see both the locally deployed and cached packages available under the PyPy Virtual Repository. This concludes our PyPy setup screencast. You can use Artifactory to work with any build technology like Maven, Gradle, Ivy, Conan, and Ant and manage your artifacts for all your technologies. Just to name a few, Java, Docker, Debian, Nougat, RubyGems, NPM, and many more. Artifactory also offers tight integrations with Jenkins, Hudson, TeamCity, Bamboo, and any other CI server. This concludes our introductory Artifactory setup. You are welcome to visit our user guide to discover more features and our YouTube channel for additional screencasts.